an eye for an eye will make the whole world blind. Good evening. Good evening, Belgrade. Good evening to all the honorable guests and all the people who have come here from Belgrade. You know, I was, I'm overwhelmed actually right now by seeing all the seats full. I think it's really an honor, honor for Mahatma Gandhi that all the seats are full over here tonight. Thank you. Who was Mahatma Gandhi? I like to tell everybody Mahatma Gandhi was just like all of us. You can relate to him. He transformed himself over a period of time and I think that's why he understood change so well. That's one of my messages to all the people over here that please try and understand change. Some men change their times. One man changed the world for all time. My name is Gandhi, Mohandas K. Gandhi. Men honored him, women loved him, an empire feared him. A nation worshipped him. Gandhi believed in change. He changed his tactics. He changed, he, he tried different ways of getting through to his enemy and trying to conquer their conscience. And he had to speak up against injustice. In these three periods of time, which is the most powerful weapon made by man? Usually the answer is this the little boy and the fat man, the two nuclear atom bombs that were thrown in Japan. But I'd like to differ. And I'd like to say that the weapon that was born that night at that railway station in South Africa is called Satyagraha, Truth Force, where you use the conscience of your opponent, the truth, the power of the truth, and you fight against injustice. Where there's injustice, I have always believed in fighting. The question is, do you fight to change things or do you fight to punish? He devised methods which were non-violent in nature and one of them was the salt march. No leader in India thought that the salt march could be successful. Long live! Long live! Long live! One of the biggest powers or the biggest learnings from Gandhi's life is the power of the conscience. Use the conscience of your opponent as your ally, but you have to be morally right to win. So if you want to cause change, don't expect it to have happen overnight. You need to be morally right, you need to put in the right amount of time, and you need to have a strategy. Perseverance is that one trait that changes you from an ordinary person into an extraordinary person. You have to go after it as if your life depends on it. But you have to go after it as if your life depends on it for a long, long, long time. Because change is not instant. Courage is the ability and willingness to confront the obvious and change it. The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, morally uprightnessness. Do to others what you would have them do to you. World citizens are those who feel the pain of others. Help those who are in misery, but never let ego or conceit enter their mind. What I like to do over here is I've got 10 people over here 
and I think these 10 people should be made world citizens today. Is it a good idea? Be the change. Don't wait for your government to give you the change, for your leaders to give you the change, for your teachers to give you the change, for your parents to give you the change, for the elder brother to, or sister to give you the change. Be the change yourself.